Okay, everybody, Mark Vogt with Voltland Outdoors. What we're working on this weekend, because it's rainy and lousy outside, is still silencing my ILF limb-fitting bow. I put a lot of paddings in that you guys saw uh, a couple of episodes ago, but it's not enough. Listen, you hear that rattle? That's contact way down inside here, way down inside there. It's contact between that pin and all of the brass material, the fitting that it goes into, the socket. That's what's rattling. And we're going to try putting a little rubber O-ring on it. The kind of O-ring that you would see over in the plumbing section of Ace Hardware. So here we go. Okay, here we are back at the work table. We've got a couple of different sizes here of little O-rings that we're gonna try. Okay, here's what I'm learning already. These things don't wanna stay up near the top of this bevel like I want. Instead, they wanna roll down. So I gotta find a way to get them down because they gotta be between this piece and the, the, and the mating surface that's right there. They gotta get in between it and form a sandwich. I've got an idea. Look inside here, you see how this one wanted to naturally go the wrong way down to the bottom? What if I stack two more up in there? That guarantees that one of them is up against this mating, this beveled surface. And then when I push it into the collar, the other two rubber pieces will separate and I'll still get a good connection. So I'm gonna stack a total of three rings up on this, uh, on this uh, pin and see what happens. And now if you look, you'll see there, I've created this completely, it's completely strat, uh, it's completely surrounded. The pin is completely surrounded. That cylinder is completely surrounded by rubber O-rings. And hopefully I'll be, still be able to jam it in. Here goes. It worked. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? That's right. Nothing. You hear nothing. Holy shit, guys. Look at that. I guess the only thing to do is to take it out to the range right now and try it. Let's go out there. Okay, I'm getting the camera set up. I'm going to be standing as close to you as I can and only shooting at 20 meters. And what we're listening for is the sound of the bow vibrating. Not even the sound, the boing of the bowstring, but the brrrr, that rattle of the ILF limb inside the ILF pocket on the riser. Now when I'm holding my, my arm out, you guys are right at the top. And hopefully that wind isn't affecting anything. Shot number three. Full draw. We're definitely on the right track here. Definitely on the right track. Shot number two. Just to see that bullseye. There's some rattle that's escaping when it's under load, when there's an arrow. What would be happening? It's coming out. There's certainly noise right there. Do you hear that? That might be it. Just a knock releasing from the bowstring. I never noticed it, how loud that is. And it does sound like a click. And I do have really sticky knocks. You hear that? Let's see if we can mentally mask that out on this next shot and decide if that's the sound we're hearing. I'm gonna put the knock right next to you. There is something there. There is something from the knock releasing on the bowstring. He's making a noise, a, 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 list, a hearable noise. Yeah. 
Let's shoot some more. Remember, always straighten your arrows out so they fly consistently. Cock feather horizontal. Number one. You guys are right next to my chin. And there is a noise there. Two. Woo, nearly a bullseye. You guys are seeing that, right? I'm not sitting out here in this cold weather shooting and have you guys not paying attention. Pay attention! Number three. Another near bullseye, like this far from dead center. I'm on a roll. It's always when nobody's watching. What we learned was that noises come from a lot of different parts of the bow. Sometimes from places you don't expect. Like today we found it's the knock releasing from the bowstring that actually makes a pronounced noise, part of what you're hearing. But what we did see is that the the ILF limb pocket induced noise, that generated noise from the clicking around, the moving parts, the slop between the pin and the collar that the pin fits in has all been but eliminated as much as we can with nothing but three little faucet O-rings, three little faucet, uh, yeah, faucet O-rings, sealers, seals, that you can buy at any hardware store for 59 cents a piece. 59, 59, 59 on the top, 59, 59, 59 on the bottom. That's what? A dollar eighty, a dollar eighty, call it four bucks. So for four bucks, you can actually silence your ILF limbs almost completely just by wrapping those little O-rings around the cylinder. And then when you slide it into place, those O-rings separate, but at least one of them finds its way between the cylinder itself, the pin, and the mating surface of that collar, that, that notch that it slips in, and that's what actually starts to silence the ILF fitting. This is Mark Vogel with Voland Outdoors. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video. This is me outside in the cold, wet weather sacrificing my body. For you, my subscribers, please feel free to, free to subscribe to my channel. Tell me other things that you want to see, but I've got lots of lessons coming up. We'll see you out there. Bye. Cut.